tell me about yourself. What's your name? Where are you from? That kind of thing. I'm Peter. I'm from Hungary originally. I live in London the last five years. Um, and I'm working within the facilities management the uh, last seven years now. Five in, in the UL and two with the institution in engineering and technology before. We provide uh, also the service, the post, the uh, deliveries, uh, health, health jobs, uh, any room set up if required, uh, organizing some cleaning if necessary or any portage basically. Control, also, we yeah, we provide some sort of security okay. and uh, um, safe working for contractors. So the control room, we signing them, induction, mm -hmm. etc. So yeah, no worries. Is anyone free to just give the cover on a quick break? Has working here changed your idea of art in any way? Mm, I don't know much about art. Still, uh, I'm not an artistic person. I'm really, I, I, I like and I love what I do, so I don't, I, I've seen a couple of things, what I liked, what I don't like, basically I've seen definitely more than, than I would see if I, I would work somewhere else, and I met very diverse people and, and slightly opened my mind, I guess, mm. in working here. Yeah, working open your mind in what way? The better way, obviously, so. So I see things and talk to people what I would never talk to mm. and never seen if I wasn't here. Uh, a misconception that you think students have about estates department? They, they, everybody thinks we are security. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. Yeah. That's what everyone keeps saying. Yeah. It's a bit of an insult to be honest because uh, yeah. we do much more than a security guard. That's what I've noticed. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 But it's yeah. not just from students. If you believe it mm. or not, it's from staff, even a couple of managers. They still don't know. Oh within yeah. di different departments and who we are, what we do mm -hmm. and, and it's a bit disrespectful, especially who works here for years. Seriously. Yeah, they, they yeah. work here years and they go, oh this security guy didn't let me through the barrier. Well, if mm -hmm. you don't know who we are then there's not much to talk about seriously. I mean yeah. we do a couple of duties like in a barrier control is part of mm -hmm. security obviously and we do look after the security bridge. But uh, but no, I, I don't think it's a priority role of the duty. It yeah. is much more than that. It's yeah, very yeah. diverse, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I look at myself in before ten years time, I didn't know what these facilities. I, I didn't mm. know what, what what needs to be done yeah. in this building. In my country, there is no such a role like this. <laughs> they have security and maintenance. There is no between. My mum is Bulgarian, yeah. so I go to Bulgaria quite a lot. And yeah. yeah. And just, everything is, you just do it the way you want to exactly. do it. Exactly. And nobody yeah. takes really responsible. Yeah. I think it's great to to have this and, and they're taking it seriously in this country and back it up mm. with the laws, all the health and safety laws and, yeah. and everything about being in a safe environment and, and uh, provide provide uh, people the, the, the most yeah, what yeah. they deserve and what they pay for. Do you prefer working the mornings or evenings? I usually see you in the evenings. Yeah, I do, I do the evenings because I, evenings. I got the little boy so yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, uh, I look after him in the morning so mm. I can't really leave the uh, yeah, mornings. That's good that you can, yeah. Yeah, it's a different dynamic. I, I used to, before, before he was born, I used to do mornings. It's a different dynamic. It's a, it's a bit busier. Uh, more more hands-on shift at the, the early shift, I would say. There are a lot more to do, but uh, the importance is, is, is both sides because we're not just here to do the deliveries and stuff. Mm. We're here for if in case of anything happens or emergency mm. occurs, so we need to respond. So, yeah, it's yeah. important both sides. Tell me about yourself, what's your name, where you're from, that kind of thing. Um, I'm Keith, I'm originally from East London, now moved out to Essex. Oh, okay, yeah, so I well travel that's... quite, um, Tilbury, travel quite a distance to get here. Mm, my dad lives in Basildon. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know the festival Leisure Park? Yeah. Yeah, my dad had the Indian buffet restaurant. In there. The one that's closed down now? Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah we, we were planning to go in there to be honest with you, just opposite, we go in the um, the Chinese one. Yeah, 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 the Chinese go are still there. going, yeah. I think me and, me and my wife went in there, in the uh, Chinese one, Aroma I think it's called, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went in there and um, 
looked across a couple of months ago, looked across and went, oh, we have to try that one next time. <laughs> and next time we come back, it was closed. It was oh, no. a yeah. bit disappointed. But. Um, so what do you usually expect to be doing on shift? What do I usually expect to be doing? We do, <laughs> yeah. you probably know anyway, but we do quite an array of, of, um, of tasks every day. Yeah. Um, starts off with opening checks. So we would check all the building, make sure all the fire escapes are fine, it's clear, make sure all the um, fire exits work as well. Yeah. Um, jobs that need to be done on a, in a timely manner as well, so we need mm. to be get out of the way before nine o'clock before so the building starts. So what kind of jobs? Here. What do you mean by jobs? Uh, porterage jobs, um, room setups. Um, and what kind of goods come through the local on a typical day? You forget that there's so many offices, you kind do. of, because we're just in this bit of the building. Yeah, but you don't realise the, the whole side. granary is pretty much an office. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we get a lot of paper, a lot of um, toners, um, <laughs> typical. Eh? <laughs> nice bit of noise there for background. Sound. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. so we get a lot of deliveries for Baxter Story and the Student Union mm. Cafe as well. So a lot of food mm. deliveries. Drinks yeah. deliveries, cool. materials, all sorts. Yeah. What do you like about working here? Uh, even though even though the job's pretty similar every day, you always find there's something different about it. So and and me me personally, I've been here 16 years this year. Wow. So. 16 years? 16, yeah. Oh, you're the longest person that I've spoken to. Because, yeah, other people were like, I think four years was the most I heard. So, I don't know if anyone will be yeah, able to Yeah, 2002, that. so 16 years. Ago. Was that in this building or No, elsewhere? this one went here. Yeah, yeah, so it wasn't here. So, it's wasn't only here. been here about five or six years, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was in LCF before, John Prince's Street. Mm -hmm. And before that, was John, um, LCF still, but a different building. It's not there anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. next to uh, Selfridges. Oh wow! It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> what, how quickly would the building descend into chaos if there are no facilities staff? It wouldn't open. Yeah. We open the front doors. Yeah. So yeah, there's yeah, none. Yeah. There's no. There's no doors open. Yeah. It, I mean, it the would other. Quickly. The other interesting thing was the other day I was upstairs on the third floor on the, on the bridge that I was looking down and they were all playing it or something and they got, yeah. and I saw you come over and like stop yeah. and I was like oh I felt so grateful to see like you guys kind of come oh, in and you. stop that yeah, because we, we for me to, especially it's like if somebody bumps into me I'll just like be on the floor and it'd be yeah and that's what I was trying to explain to them as well is that yeah. I understand that they've got a course to do and part of their course is to freely explore and do what they want to do and this is what the tutor was trying to explain to me mm. and I said to him but what you need to take into account is that you're taking up a huge area of space and it's not sectioned off you're involving people that are not involved in this mm. and you've also got to take into account uh, disabilities that you can't see mm. um, you might see someone that's um, that can't see properly or they've got a, a guide visual dog impairment, yeah. visual impairment disability but if you knock one of the, if you knock someone over you're going to be in big trouble for it and because yeah, we're, and we're telling feel you really really bad you know if, if they yeah, you, if they, they will did, feel but, very very bad if and, it, happens, and it's difficult yeah. as well because the tutor wasn't really taking it on board as well and it's like okay yeah, let me explain it to you a bit further and try and give them examples of what could happen and then it's all okay well then they've got to do a risk assessment and meetings and all that afterwards, which they did, mm. and hopefully they've learned from it. That's, that's pretty much it, really. It's, it's about learning and communicating between each other. So what we're here for, and what yeah. we need, we need them to to understand. Even though we know they've got something to do, yeah, they yeah. need to follow some sort of rules. Mm, yeah. So yeah, cool. I think that's it. All right. Yeah. No <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much. My name is Sirin Jai from West Africa, Gambia. It's a small country. I'm a married man with kids and wife. Yeah. I live in Hackney, okay. East London, yeah. next to the Homerton Hospital. So, how long have you been working here? Um, November. Oh, so, you're quite 20, new. Oh, November no, wait. 2018, I'll be 20 years with the university. Oh, wow. So, yeah. you're longer than. Because I All spoke to Keith. Before and he said 16 years. I'm longer than all of them. Wow. Yeah. So which you've worked in other buildings before yeah, then? Yeah, uh, um, John Princess Street, mm. the one at 
of Oxford Street. Yeah. I work in May Street, Golden Lane, LCC. <laughs> You've been everywhere. Yeah, I've been everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're a facility, you you should be flexible. You should mm. know all the buildings and so on. So oh, okay. I've been to most of the buildings yeah, to yeah. cover sick or holidays, you know, or emergency. Mm. I'm always willing to go because that's what we are. See all this electrical stuff mm -hmm. is under my responsibility. All the hazardous waste uh, in here, the paints, oh, um, yeah, yeah. hazardous liquid, they are under my responsibility. You know, all the electrical stuff to be disposed. We bring it here, store them here, then uh, then we we got a file for it where it comes from so that the college will charge where which department it comes and I make sure that it's neatly parked here and so on. If it is a bit like ninety five percent full then we call for collection which we the college normally pays for it. It's not free so we yeah. the college pays for it and so on. So they will come and collect it. Same thing mm. as that one and same thing as the skip. You see that skip? I'm responsible for the skip too. Uh -huh. so that it will be packed nicely rather mm. than just chucking everything all over. So just to avoid the skip being full so quick, wasting space in the skip, so uh, I'm responsible for it and make sure we create enough space. The university will save money mm. rather than changing it every other week or so. So mm. now we can chuck as much as we can. This is one of the best skips we've ever had since I've been in it because this one got the door at the back. Yeah, you're so you can open the door, then you walk in safely, mm. provided that it's been stuck nicely and so on. You can walk in easily and then put your rubbish there and then walk back without any you know, because um, we always avoid want to eliminate risk. Yeah. That's Make sure our everything main, is safe. Yeah, that's our aim and so on. Eliminate yeah. risk or injuries and so on. Being here, has it changed your idea of what art is in any way? Do you sometimes walk past and think, oh, that's very strange. How is that art? What is, yeah, what yeah. is going on here? You know? Yeah, you know, I always surprise say, wow, this is art. You know, sometimes it doesn't surprise me because I just say to myself, I'm in the art department, so I expect to see wild stuff and so on. <laughs> yeah which is normal to me now, you know. Sometimes mm. I walk around, see stuff, really beautiful stuff, you know. I have mm. to stand and look at it and say, wow, that's great. If the student is there, I will tell them, that's great, keep it up. <laughs> you know, just to give that individual the confidence. Mm. That's nice, you know. Mm. That's, that's us, you know. Facilities, mm. we are here. To, we are yeah, here I noticed that you guys notice a lot of what goes on in the building. Like, oh, yeah. you know, you're not just here and doing your job. No. You're kind of taking in everything that's going on around as well. You will know most of the stuff going on because, yeah. right, in the morning, <laughs> if we are doing building checks, we see your works, mm. everything, and so on. We stand and have a look and so on and say, wow, this is good, this is nice, this is lovely. But before, oh, no, 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 nah, that was oh, my. Oh, Thing. But, yeah. but I'm into this a lot and having lots of um, mingling with students mm. and staff. So you, you, you know, you will come used to it. You know. Uh, like the most common question, maybe mm -hmm. that students ask you, if some of the students sees you, well, something that they ask you over, and you kind of get from so many different people, a common question. Most of the time, around this time, it's about parcels about deliveries and so on, most mm. of it around this period. The other ones is, they say, oh, why are you always smiling? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, they expect you to be sad, like, <laughs> yeah. upset or serious. <laughs> you know, but, but it's good to be smiling, especially if you're at the door, at the yeah. entrance. Because if some of the students come in, sadness and so on so mm -hmm. you, you see, they see that smile in your face and you talk to them mm -hmm. hi good morning how are you yeah. doing well, especially since i started coming in through this entrance yeah. here at the back yeah. Yeah. it's always nice to see someone in the office and you know, just say hi yeah. you know it really yeah. makes a difference that, to your day that, yeah make your day great even yeah. if you are angry coming in yeah, say, exactly. oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. oh that guy just boosts me up 
So yeah. that's what that's that's us. Yeah. You know, we just want you to come in the building feeling really happy, not sad. You see, especially he, he loves chatting people at the at the entrance. You know, so that's normal. Um, my name is Toby. I'm from West Sussex. Uh, the small village is just, um, just west of Worthing. Do you live in London though? I do, I live yeah. in South London. So how long have you been working here? I've been working here, I think about a year, year and a half. It's a very job role. Um, mm. I, I get the sense that like you do a lot of different things, lot of kind of things. things. Um, <laughs> it's, it's also one of those jobs that you kind of you almost get out of it what you want. If you kind of want to pursue certain things, then you're given the free reign to do it. So a lot of people on our team, they'll they will actively go and do the health and safety things because that's what they're interested in. Other people with security, it's, it's that kind of job role. Um, but the actual duties, stuff like delivering post, ordering, um, risk assessing things, sort of liaising with the contractors upstairs, doing all that kind of thing, signing people in. Yeah, I guess you kind of explain. What do you like about working here? Um, the pay helps. <laughs> um, but most, if I'm being honest, I think I quite like being around artwork. Um, I quite like being around a creative environment. And yeah, even if I'm okay. not like, participating in it, it's nice to be around it. Mm, Especially yeah, yeah, like yeah. I said, the sort of degree shows. Yeah, um, we're getting to that. That's a, like, it's a lovely time of year because you just kind of see everyone's work. Mm. actually becoming something physical which is quite nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah mostly that to be honest well that's what I find quite interesting because I'm thinking like what do you guys feel about being in this building yeah. so yeah being in like an art school and all this kind of some stuff that goes on is quite mad I guess <laughs> some yeah, some of it. Of it's <laughs> yeah yeah There's some, there is some really interesting stuff mm. but I think it's, it's good though because I think in our team as well you can a lot of it brings up topics that people don't usually talk about, which is quite mm. cool. Mm. Um, so you sort of see something in the street and then you'll, you'll have a conversation with someone about it and it kind of prompts a, a wider discussion, which is nice. So what goes into organising the degree show on your side? Yeah, I wonder like what things arise with having the degree show on and also having the building open to the public, like are there extra bits of things that need to be organised and... Yeah, it's a bit chaotic um, when the building does open to the public just because well, I think insurance wise the amount of risk that's mm. almost tripled when you have a building like this open to the public. Um, and like a lot goes into it on our end. Um, just literally just because of the sort of logistical difficulties. Um, all the stuff coming in, everyone being around all the time, having members of staff that say new chemicals taken up, things like that. It makes everything a little bit more difficult just mm. because of the sheer amount of people. But also you kind of end up having to juggle a lot of things at the same time. And has working here changed your idea of art in any way? Um, yeah. In a, in a sense where I think I've realised what kind of art I don't really like. Um, sorry, we'll just... Yeah, go on, that's fine, don't worry yeah, about it. it. Yeah. Sorry about that. I was kind of anticipating that things would be interrupted, so yeah. it doesn't really need to, you know, be flowing in kind of a, that's a sense of realism, natural, yeah, kind of way. So yeah, what were we saying? Oh yeah, art. Yeah, you're saying what you don't like. Yeah. What does that like, mean? That's interesting. Not, not in like a negative sense, but just kind of. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, I get that. You know, with, with art, there's a tendency to kind of think, oh, like I should appreciate this. Mm. Like, like, because I realise there's some things that I just don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially So I think I just realised that but there's some bits here yeah, that I just have no. Like no what? Go on. <laughs> like what? Mostly the phallic stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's some pretty more. rude stuff yeah, upstairs some, in the studios. Yeah. Upstairs are nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's very sexual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, look, I've never found a reference for that. Um, 
similar to some of the more like conceptual video bits mm -hmm. that I find it difficult to grasp. Mm -hmm. But I think that's just me. I think it obviously it has its place in the world, but I just yeah. don't understand it really. Well, I kind of feel like that as well a bit. Like sometimes I don't know what is going on yeah. kind of thing. And whether and you I should appreciate it for what it is or whether it's yeah. everything with a dose of irony or something like that. And yeah. Just get yeah. A bit lost in it really. Oh, I hope I'm not making a conceptual video piece because <laughs> I guess, <laughs> cause I feel like I might be. I just sorry, but, um, yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. What's your name? Come on, Danny. His Danny. name's Danny. Do you wanna? I can ask you if you go to the zoo, or you can interject if you feel like yeah, yeah. you wanna add anything. So what have you asked so far? There's a list of questions. So what's your name? I already got that. You're Danny. Yeah. Um, where are you from? How long have you been working here? Brought up in Hackney and I've been here for four years. It all, de it all depends on the, on the shift, really. It all depends on the, uh, like the rotor, because I'm the one who makes the rotor, so it all depends on how many people we've got in, what's happening on the day. It varies from day to day. So, when do you guys start shift? Because I was speaking to you earlier this morning, you said seven yeah. until three. So that's we don't even, the building isn't even open until um, 8 days, so what happens in that time? Really? That's one of the busiest times of the morning, the checks. Oh. Like, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, it's quite busy from 7, to be honest. Okay, it's so you're like checking things and what? Main building checks, yeah. mm. external checks, granary checks. So it's, um, yeah, it's the, the health and safety procedures, that's the aspect of the job, but it's quite intense. Um, and then if there's more of us on shift, only three of us can do those, so the rest must go do jobs if there is any. Yeah, mm. it's got to basically just check in the building. So this is the more chilled out time, is it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it's not the evening. Um, but the evening's got its own perks, perks and difficulties. I won't say perk, perk, but yeah, perk. No, work perk. Yeah, not a work perk. No, just a perk. Just a perk. That was quite a good back and yeah. forth. That other one. Yeah. <laughs> is it twenty-four hour cover here? No. Um, Security-wise, it is, but we're we work on the shift pattern. Um, so, like I said, we're we cost seven. too much, basically. Yeah. We're too, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're, um, we're here from 7 to 3, and then there's another shift that's here to 10 30 from 3. Cool. Um, so, yeah, and then after that, the, we've got 24 hour security. So, how's working here? I'm going to ask you because I already asked yeah, Toby. Fine, yeah. <laughs> Has working here changed your idea of art in any way? Uh, honest opinion? Yeah, go on. Yeah, honest opinion is good. <laughs> okay. Um, some of it, I think, why you paid nearly four grand over four years for that. Mm. Some of it, I think, okay, yeah. that's part. Then some of it's really a good, like, like ceramics and stuff like that. Mm. Um, and then, obviously, all the DCL people, that's a form of art, you know. DCL? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And like, I've watched some of their performances, I thought they were good. So. Mm -hmm. You're quite a performative person. Because you've got that comedy as well, isn't it? Remember it's Matt, are you alright? How quickly would the building descend into chaos if there was no facilities no staff? Five right? minutes? Yeah. Really? Five, five minutes. minutes? Yeah? Five minutes yeah. guaranteed. Yeah, genuinely. And that's What would go wrong? Um I think legally they could open the building. Yeah, like okay. the, the minimum. Five people to man this building. Yeah. yeah. Um, alongside the fact when we're in at 7:30, okay. all the checks we have to do conform to compliance, checking the escape routes, okay. um, making sure nothing's damaged overnight, so no kind of fire, no kind of hazards. Um, we then have to sort of order all the escape routes, and then fill out all the paperwork, and that will then spiral in an archive for a number of years. So if that's not done, and you can't confirm that it's been done, then the building can't open. Mm. Tell me about yourself. 
What's your name? My name's Jason. How long have you been working here? I've been here at uh, UEL or CSM. Mm, both. UEL for nearly four and a half years. I've uh, been here two years. What do you usually expect to be doing on shift? I could be doing anything. We could be doing static positions, even control room working on a barrier, um, help desk, which is delivering parcels, doing jobs, room setups, transporting things from over the college, first aid, post, you know, and I'm, I'm helping people. And, uh, Interaction. Mm. Has working here changed your idea of art in any way? What do you think about art? I like art. It's very actually different things. It's good. And people have different perceptions of art, but the main thing of art, you don't have to understand it. You might look at something because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's bad in certain ways. You know? Yeah, different, perce different perceptions of how you see things. Well, like, some people would walk through, get offended, look at things and whatever, no, but you know, sometimes you can ask about stuff, things and people are happy to talk about stuff. If you see something and you don't understand it, you could ask somebody about something. Yeah. Like I said, you don't have to understand it, do you? I think once you get over that, it's, it makes it a lot easier. Mm. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Um, Favourite part of the building? Mm, I like the roof terrace. Have you been on the roof terrace? Mm, I think once, but yeah. Once in four years? Well, we don't have three access years? to it as oh. students. Yeah. yeah. So many Staff have access. Staff, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but it's a nice part of the building. I do like it on there. I do like the bridges as well. Yeah? yeah the bridges are nice, nice sort of spaces. Like the middle bridge is pretty cool to see both sides of it. And it depends what's on and what time of year. If you've got events on, the end bridge is good to look at it, look down it, and all that sort of thing. What's your favourite part of the building? It was seen at um, the end of the street. So it's been a lot of time down there. Well, that's my space for the degree show. So, what do you think? Well, you're nearer to where the facilities are based, down by the control or the loading bay. Um, mm. Interactive, while that you're playing your videos, your video's been played, they'll be able to be seen walking by. I hope so. No? Yeah. Unless I, we completely avoid the area. There's, there's, I don't know, there's two ways. I'm kind of okay with it being there, but I'm also a bit like, well, it's kind of hidden away. And it's all about like hidden work that goes on. And it's also hidden. So it would have been nice if it was out there a bit. You know, it, but could, it, it, could, it, it could be at the, front of the, at the front where people come in and m maybe get missed. Exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? There's a lot of big work in the street and that's why I was a bit... And you have got big work and people come to look at those sort of areas and it's something mm. else down there, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, showtime, they do have a show. There's a lot of people here. I don't know. I just have you not been? To, have you not been I've to been one? I've been to one. I've been to one. I've been to um, all of them since I've been here. But I just plan on putting the work up and running away. Just... Really? Yeah. I think you should have your picture on the wall. No, 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 no. no. Or just sitting there like you have been eating your eating your twelve. <laughs> um, how about? What do you think about the fact that I've made this video? I mean, has no one ever done anything about yeah, right, facilities yeah. before? I've not, I've not seen anyone do it. No, I've not seen that before, no. Mm. So like the other day when you were saying to someone and someone just started laughing, I said, what, what, what's funny with that? You know? Yeah. Mm. I was talking to somebody today. I was kind of saying to her, she was like, what? I don't know who that is. Right. Who are you talking about? I know, because everyone just looks at us and thinks we're security. But if you cut your finger and you think they've only cut the finger off, it's us they're calling to come and put it back together. Exactly, yeah. So that's the thing. I kind of because I remember I, before I even did it, I was asking whether. Yeah, received. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, what are we okay. saying? Yeah, and how quickly would the building descend into chaos if there's no facility staff around? I think quite quickly actually. We are tasked to do quite a lot of things here. As you hear on the radio, they're always busy, always doing jobs, always doing things. Mm. Doing the post, things like people don't see or they might have no interaction or don't think they have an interaction. But when things don't come in and things can't be delivered, you know, who's going to do that? 
who's going to get in through the areas, who's, you know, first aid is always called on it. I mean, all the floors and all around the building, there are first aiders, but nine times out of ten, we're the ones that get called for these sort of things. Nairon, I'm from here and I've been working here, what, seven years? Maybe eight? So what do you usually expect to be doing on shifts? Uh, morning shift, we'll come in, first thing we do is have a, a morning meeting, um, after that we'll start the morning checks, so health and safety and fire checks, so that would be all the external doors and all the internal fire doors and escape routes just to make sure they're clear and just yeah yeah protocol it has to be um so that would be first before we do anything else um so we'll just come in and we'll just start preparing everything for a little bit later on in the day because staff don't get in until i don't know half eight half nine. Oh, and in the morning as well we would see if there's any help desk requests mm. so all the stuff that's logged through the help desk it could be furniture moves yeah. room setups <laughs> yeah clear outs especially now with the degree show going on it'd be studio clear outs and and stuff like that so we'd, we'd try and get all those done before the day starts mm. all the deliveries start coming in zone checks that's a good time to do them as well um, each of us is given a certain area in the building mm. to oversee so even though the staff and or tutors or whatever, they might log jobs in their own area if there's lights out, if there's loose door handles, uh, mm. the vents aren't working or things like anything. It could be fixes and fittings or mechanical. So we'll go up to the zone we're giving. So it could be an area, for example, like third floor, um, K block, F block <laughs> and, and C block. And then that's our, we have to oversee that area. So we would check everything within that area and then we would log jobs with the help desk mm. to sort out any issues that's in that area. So that's a good time to do that as well. What do you like about working here? Uh, <laughs> do you know what? I, I, do you know what? To be I fair, it's, question, it's not Who because... Likes work? <laughs> it's, it depends what work it is. <laughs> I actually think that here we've got a decent team which makes it fun. Mm. So we all have a laugh and a joke. Like, so that, yeah, yeah, obviously not always, because nothing ever, nothing, you know, it's the same with friends or family. You never get 100% of the time. Yeah. And to be fair, at work, a lot of people don't even have that kind of That's true, yeah. camaraderie with colleagues mm. or, you know, you get mm. people on some of the floors, they sit three desks away from someone. Mm. They don't know who they are. Mm. So I think we've got it quite good in that respect. So yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Ah, we, I like the hours. All right, I've, yeah. I, I less like the late shift, but that's just more sentimental than the actual shift itself. I don't like missing my evening. Mm. So when you're in from half two to half ten, by the time I get home, yes. it's just you live a different kind of, it's a different cycle you live in. Mm -hmm. Whereas I don't mind, I don't like going to bed early, but I like, I don't like getting up early, but I like being in for seven and finishing at three. <laughs> I'm so, definitely one of those people who likes to come in early and to be able to, yeah. Yeah, you know, if you need, done, yeah, if you need, any, if you need to do life. anything, you can still do it from yeah. three onwards. And you can actually get stuff done after work and yeah. that's even be and finish it mm. before everyone else has finished work. Um, has working here changed your idea of art in any way? Not necessarily here, but when I first started, I was in Archway, oh, which okay, used to yeah, be yeah. the old Byam Shaw site. When... I first got there, when students applied, they applied specifically to go mm. to buy and sure. So I think when I got there, CSM hadn't taken it over fully and it was just in the tail end of what it used to be. Mm. And our job role was slightly different then because we used to do a little bit more on like the building stuff, like we used to change the lights, we used to sort of get fixed up or paint and things like that and that sort of then went all to maintenance so we was a lot more involved with the student the students then as well because there was, used to be a studio manager there so we used to sort of help him a lot so we wasn't just estates mm. we, were, we were sort of part of the college yeah so you you sort of knew 
without you going Our out of your way, you, you sort of, yeah, you sort of knew them a lot more. So I, I hadn't really paid much interest in art too much mm. before that, apart from maybe if you go to the galleries and see, but it's just visual. Um, so yeah, just being around that in my first couple of years gave me a little bit more of an understanding of what people were doing and why they were doing it. So yeah, definitely. What do you think? <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> uh, so Has my maybe, perception of art changed? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Not I guess, really. Mm. Um, I think I, I, I do actually feel sorry for this generation because to find something unique is extremely hard. To me, I think that fashion now is, is, is mainly for people who don't know the fashion that the history of fashion. If you knew the history of fashion, then you would realise there isn't that much that you can touch on fashion nowadays. Mm. Um, you know, and at my age, at four, you know, I'm 44, I'm 45 this year, I'm rocking the 60s, I've got an afro, and my days off I've got flares on, but that's regurgitated. I shouldn't, you know, I should, supposedly, I should be wearing fashion of today, but what is the fashion of today when you've got mm. retro? I see people your age walking around with watches that were fashionable in my day. The Cassian, you know, gold yeah. and silver. You know, it's fashion for you to be retro. To me, it's not retro, mm. it's just... Days past. It's days past. Mm. You know, you're, you're living a ghost that I used to be a part of. So, it, you know... It, mm. Be fair, you saying that, that's another thing about buying pure, is I used to see a lot more varied, yeah. varied yeah. work. Yeah, and that. <sighs> Bless you. Uh, I saw it almost no. five to five. I'll die worry. Do you have any package for Tom Jack Harriers or Tom Jack? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> but yeah, I, I. Probably does, no? Yeah, there's shoes. I think in, in a lot of Yay. ways it takes away from me. Waiting for those. Because. It, West Midland. If you. If you're catering for loads of different people around the world to be in the same building, mm. then you need uh, some way to, to know and be confident that whatever you're teaching, they're all going to get. Yeah. So or if you use one method. You're going to be able to understand what they're bringing. Yeah. Because if, if you're, you're not, if you haven't got enough variation in your it. tutors, how are they going to understand well, it's even the, in the different students, types though. of. It's yeah. even in the students. I mean, if you take out international no, students, no. a lot of the right, students you. are Goodbye. people yes. who've been to private schools or like are from that kind of old bohemian background. And for me, it's been quite a bit tricky to like have those connections with them and to get to know them well because yeah. I'm not from that, you know. And, yeah. and they have this other way of speaking See. to each other, yeah. and even just the things they say are kind of different. And it's, yeah. No, yeah. we had a, a girl like that before, and she was she was into sort of graffiti and a lot of street art, but they she never used to get marked for it no. because they didn't see it. They don't understand it. wasn't part it. of the art that they wanted to promote, no. so it always got left left to the side a little bit. And then I go back to the original question: of What do you perceive as art? Then? Yeah. Because well, it's quite clicky. You and art. I could be on the yeah, same piece of be, That's what really. Yeah, yeah, no, you hear that a lot. It's like, if you're not part of this art world, then you're just on the outside yeah. and you never get recognised. And that's why I keep thinking, even, even over Easter, in the break, I was thinking, what am I actually doing? Why have I come here? Because I was thinking, at the end, what am I going to do? Because I don't know any but of these fancy, like... The one thing <laughs> I think that I did learn from actually doing the art degree was there's a doing lot of people or not me myself i'm saying <laughs> just from people say, doing it much? and That's speaking it. to people is you know, is the a lot of people who did an art degree use that creativity in another field mm. so they don't necessarily and this is where they, 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 they used to have this question of how do you quantify a successful art degree mm. and they could never really do it because not everyone who does an art degree becomes an artist field. or mm. makes art yeah. for a yeah. living but what they do do is they might go into something else where their creativity that they used to use for art mm. they put into this new field yeah. so then they don't go into that number of course. Mm. so yeah. you see yeah. so yeah. it yeah. always looks like artists yeah. don't become 
the way yeah yeah so yeah. it was it's a really strange one but it is more useful than people like to believe of course. Yeah. in that sense it is. if i if i had to if i had a piece of advice so, for anybody here mm. i would say gather all the information that you can mm. that is your basis but don't rely on it art for two people are two different things mm. he and i can look at the same piece of wall Get and he'd hate it yeah yeah, yeah absolutely. and i'd love it yeah, yeah. But what I would say is, yeah, you've spent three years of your life doing this and a lot of money. And you can appreciate it and for a lot of different re- reasons. Visually, you can, you, you can understand the idea yeah. behind it, where it came from. Yeah. There can be so much reasons as to why you like it. And yeah. everyone could for mm. something different. Mm. So I guess it's... I think in this, in this building, the, the attitude of, fuck it, I'm going to do it anyway, is probably your best bet. Really. <laughs> really is. <laughs> You've, you've got to stick to your guns sometimes. Fashion to me is when I wake up in the morning and I feel a certain way. My clothes are an extension of how I feel in the morning. By lunchtime, I may feel completely different. Now, my clothes do not express the way that I feel. Mm. It's still fashion, mm. but it's not fashion of my mind anymore. Mm. There's a difference. Sorry, I'll fuck deep. you all out. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to say anything. I looked at that and I said to Janet, I said to Janet, no, I'm not going to do that, I'll kill her. (laughs) (laughs) How long have we got left? (laughs) One more question. Okay, this is meant to be much. Hold on, okay, two more. Favourite part of the building? It's actually that, that, just the walkway, the street, and everything that goes on, the bustles. Yeah. Yeah. On the lower ground. I don't know if I have a favourite part, if I'm honest. I actually but do. yeah, I do have a favourite spot. It's the drama centre. What's I do enjoy favorite? the street. Just because, yeah, like you say, so much goes on, but yeah. I don't think I particularly have a favourite, if I'm honest. I have got one favourite Out- toilet within the building. Outside the loading bay, it's always. Yeah. <laughs> it's halfway to freedom, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> We often catch a lot of jokes out there, just, yeah. just having a cigarette and that. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what were you saying your favourite toilet? Go on. I have got a favourite toilet. Yeah, like that. I do. Third floor by the terrace. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I can go out into the terrace and I can look at the London Eye and I can have my sandwich and I, I, I might write a bit of... I might write a lyric or two or take the guitar up there and then get cold and then come back out and go straight to the toilet and it's a nice little toilet because <laughs> yeah, nobody yeah. really uses it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The women, the females haven't really realised there's toilets there otherwise it would look like a shit hole. The best toilets in the building are the males. They're clean. Really? Yeah. Really? There are more females in this building than there are That's males. True, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and half of the population we keep our, are males We keep again. our toilets clean, we do. Yeah. Not like yeah. you, you're not like you lot. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how um, okay. How quickly would the building descend into chaos if there's no facilities staff? Less. God, it, it, less than half a day. Half a day. A couple of hours. Yeah, half a day. You're um, quite optimistic. It just say the building had opened and then we was all taken out. Yeah. Then yeah, I would yeah. say. Turn but off. it's funny because the chaos. It would take. It would probably take longer for the chaos to reach certain parts, but the chaos would begin very, very quickly. Very soon. Here. Mm. Yeah, you think because of, you think here, of load yeah, up on there. with nothing coming in, nothing going there, then you would have one, no one on the barriers, so people would just be coming in and out, or they wouldn't even be able to get in. Yeah. The then control the, room, which means nobody's keeping an eye on it. The fire hazards that would be start just outside yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So people can't get in. Yeah, yeah. start. It would so, be a yeah. shithole within a day. I would say within half a day you, yeah. you would proper start to Cockroaches notice Cockroaches would be dancing. Hey, the beer now! We are here, eh? Because yeah. the, facility, <laughs> the facilities actually then goes much up above us. And everything that goes wrong in this building, we're the ones that have to report it. If mm. we don't report it, the maintenance don't know there's a problem. Yeah. So if you've got flush toilets that don't flush anymore, you have to shut the building by law. And then, although the cleaners are a subcontractor, they're subcontracted by the estates, so your classrooms then would be clean. Mm. Nothing would be clean. The canteen would be toilets just wouldn't be clean. Mm. So it take yeah, half they, a day. they would. I see them as an extension of us. I do. So okay, we're the people who investigate where the issues are. The cleaners yeah. and 
the actual maintenance people are the ones that actually do it. Mm. They, they don't have a job if we don't tell them what to do. Okay. And, and we don't really have a job unless we've got the cleaners and the maintenance people because our job is to report. But who yeah. do we report to? Yeah. yeah. It's that, yeah, it's that it's, cycle it comes, of it's, it's everybody's so role is important to everyone else's. It's decreasing circles yeah, yeah. where we're constantly yeah. sort of around it each other. It is sort of, it is bigger than us. It but is a team we, that pl- works. Yeah, it's like the trifecta. We all play our yeah. part in the triangle that keeps mm. everything going. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, between estates, maintenance and the cleaners, that's what keeps the building running. And it's a good no. solid triangle. And if mm. one of us comes, if one of those teams comes out of it, we're buggered. Yeah, you lose one, the other two become ineffective. So, what's your name? Lyndon. Where are you from? How long have you been working here? What area or country? It's up to you. I always struggle with that as well. I don't <laughs> know which one to So, which one do you feel comfortable with? Well, I was born in London. My parents are yeah. from the Caribbean. And I've been working here since, I think it's December. So, what do you usually expect to be doing on shift? Either deliveries or any odd jobs that might need doing. Some putting classrooms together or taking chairs out. or no, just odd jobs around the building. What do you like about working here? Well, I've had worse jobs than this. This is a good job for me. And the, the guys that I'm working with, all, most of us are roughly the same age. So we all get on. So it's great. Mm. The camaraderie is very good between Yeah, I us. get the sense of that when I like walk by. Yeah. And you, know, you all kind of know each other. You all kind of seem... Yeah, yeah. We all get on, it's great. Has working here changed your idea of art in any way? Um, I'm not really an artsy person, so I never really took notice of it, but I've seen some good stuff around the building, like sculptures and drawings and stuff, so it's pretty good. I've seen a lot of stuff around there, so you appreciate hard work and talent, don't you? So it's good. How quickly would the building descend into chaos if there are no facilities staff? Oh. <laughs> Very quickly. Let's say, for example, the fire alarm goes off. We're going to have everybody running out of different entrances at the same time. There'll be no order. They probably know, won't know which doors to go through. Oh, there could be people running back in the building. There could be people still in the building. Chaos. <laughs> Anything else that you think would like? Um, just like go wrong if you guys aren't around. <laughs> like deliveries, like so supplies that are coming in, mm. they won't be able to, unless the students enough stuff come down to get it themselves, a lot of supplies, like as you see, paper and stuff, it won't get to where it's supposed to be. Yeah. For special food as well that comes for the canteen. Okay, cool. Well, that's it. Cool. So, yeah. yeah, unless there's anything else you want to say. Nah, I'm not really an interview person, but that was cool. That's alright. Thank you. What's your name? Samantha Williams. Yeah. And where are you from? Yeah. Uh, North London. How long have you been working here? I've worked here for nearly two and a half years now. I'm going to take them now. What do you usually expect to be doing on a shift? We cover a whole range of things. We cover building security, we do deliveries, we do um, things coming into the building, everything going out of the building, help desk jobs, first aid, um, kind of anything really that students need help with, staff need help with. What do you mean by help desk jobs? Um, say you needed to have some furniture moved from one of the rooms and somebody will log a help desk job okay. via the help desk. Mm. We get a printed request come through, then we go and do the job, we give that back to our manager, we get signed off and that is a completed job. So mm. it's not massively exciting. <laughs> what kind of goods come through the loading bay on a oh, typical day? Gosh, on a typical day, um, wood, plaster. Um, Royal, Man- Royal Mail packages, career deliveries for staff, students, people's personal shopping. Wow, really? Especially granary building, yeah. People's personal, oh. ASOS. <laughs> <laughs> so, has working here changed your idea of art? And um, what in is? some ways, yeah, I think it has. It's, it's interesting to see how people develop from when you see them start their work, start their course. And especially when you're working in the building over two or three years and you see how people's individual work develops. I find that interesting. Have you, so have you noticed? Yeah, how people's oh. work changes. Some of the students, they start off with one particular style and it does change. I don't know if that's a direction from their course, 
whether you, you're kind of pushed in certain directions or whether you have some freedom to work in collections if you want to. I think the fashion is interesting because you see how people are developing their collections. And if you get to know people as well, and you get to, to interact with what they're doing more, I think that's interesting. Because when, when, we, when we close down the building at the end of the day, we have to do a tour of the building, we do a tour of particular floors that we choose to do. Um, and you do have a wander around, you check all the areas, and you do have a look at what people are doing. It's a good opportunity to have a look around and see what people are up to, really. How quickly would the building descend into chaos if there were no facilities oh, staff? I think it would be very untidy. I know we've got the cleaning staff as well, and they keep mm. the building spotless in the morning and in the evening. They're the people who are responsible for really cleaning yeah. the rubbish out. I think people would have problems with things around the building. It's only really until things go wrong, and you think if there was nobody checking that, and you went for a fire extinguisher and it wasn't working, or mm. the fire doors weren't working, or you're all... Uh, your studio room didn't open and the bag lock wasn't working and you got stuck in there or something like that. It's probably intangible things that we don't notice, probably that we do do that people aren't aware of. Okay, tell me about yourself, what's your name, where are you from, how long have you been working here, that kind yeah. of thing. Uh, my name is Ryan, uh, I'm from South Africa. Originally Zimbabwe. I've <laughs> uh, been working here at the university for 10 years now. Yeah. At other sites? Or uh, it, other it would sites, have to be yeah, in, yeah. yeah. Other sites. I was at um, Elephant and Castle. And then I got moved here. I've been here for five years. Kings Cross. Long time. Part of the furniture now. <laughs> <laughs> how about um, how do you travel in? Do you live far away or uh, nearby? Yeah, I live in. Uh, Chelmsford. Yeah, I live in Chelmsford. I've got a motorbike, so I ride in. Cool, cool. Um, what do you usually expect to be doing on shift? Oh, that's a tricky one. There's, there's no day that's the same, but when we come in in the mornings, we have our normal um, opening up checks. So basically, we do external checks, check all the fire doors. Sure, all the corridors are clear for escape routes. And that's between seven and eight thirty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Just making sure that everything's running okay for everyone. So you have to time. wake up really early then to get here for seven. Yeah. If you're travelling from. Chelsea, yeah, yeah. I'll wake up four thirty, leave home at five. Oh my God, that's. So wait, so you ride in all the way from Chelmsford? A12, all the way down, yeah. It's a nice ride. When, when it's, it's a nice, nice road, that, yeah, yeah, A12, yeah, it's not too bad, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a long way, though, to, like, be coming every day, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it is quite a long way, but I enjoy it. Um, obviously, cool. weather permitting. Yeah. <laughs> Has working here changed your idea of art in any ways? see a lot, well, yeah, it has actually, because before I never really knew anything about art. I, I always thought art was just pictures that you see up in an art gallery, mm. but there's so many more definitions to art, like the sculptures and things on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that, things on the floor, you see, yeah. like, what is it, what's going on it's here? Art. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really big into art myself. Mm. Well, fun, this is what, it's, it's interesting. I've seen some good work coming out of here. Where do you think they should put this video? If I make this video about facilities, where should they put it? They've, they've given me that space over there just under the stairs. Okay. Yeah. What, hidden? Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. They were like, oh, well, it's close to estates where they kind of, you know, have their bit of the building. And I was like, mm. no, that's, we, we don't want to see it. We know what we do. It's, you want to get it out there. Exactly. I think right up, at, right up at the top there where everyone comes in and they can see it. Yeah, that's what I think as well. But we'll see. Can you talk me through the different, um, you know you have code names for each bit of the building, you've got like cores. Yeah, yeah can you talk me through that? So. Okay. 
I don't know, I find it interesting that there's these um, other ways of... Um, you guys have this other way of communicating about the building. Yeah, so basically um, the, the building is set up into eight, eight cores. Yeah, eight cores. No, there's six cores. It starts at three. So it starts at three? Yeah, it starts at core three. Okay, why? I don't know. <laughs> That's one question. I, I have no idea, but it starts at core three. So there's three on this side and three on that side. So starting up at the top, on the right hand side, is core three. And then in the middle here is core four. And at the bottom here is core five. And then going back up to the top on the left is core six, seven, eight. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then obviously the floors, third, second, first and ground. Ah, oh, favorite part of the building. Is the roof terrace. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice, secluded, quiet, away from everything and everyone. There's nice little plants and tables there. Just yeah. go and sit and relax for at least an hour from in my lunch break. Nice, especially when it's a nice, a nice day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite part of the building. How quickly would the building descend into chaos if there's no facility staff around? Well, to put it bluntly, the building wouldn't operate at all. Um, literally, we wouldn't be opening the building. Mm. If there was no facility staff on site, there's no way the building would open. So say it opened and suddenly you all left? Yeah, they'd have to shut down everything. Okay. But if they didn't shut it down, what would go wrong? What? Generally, everyone would carry on with their own things that they do during the day but obviously we've got we've got our uh, say there's a fire alarm that goes off we control everyone having to evacuate the building um, any security issues we've had people coming up to reception there being abusive to staff we have to defuse that situation um, fire doors that are opened accidental uh, so there's little things that people don't really see that side to it, yeah. so... That's kind of what I'm interested in, yeah. yeah. I'm like all about subtleties <coughs> and things that people don't notice. Oh, yeah. um, so no, no jobs would get done, so say a room needs to be set up or they need tables for the front there for, in, for induction that are coming in, mm. anything that wouldn't get done. So you guys move that stuff around? Yeah, we yeah. move all that stuff around. Let me see what else. Oh, what do you think about me making this video about facilities? Stuff? I think it's a good idea because it's, it's good for the rest of people in the building to see actually what we do here because sometimes we feel that like we do so much and we don't, no one really knows what we're doing. They think we just walk around doing nothing. I've heard day. that a lot that people, um, the other guys that I've spoken to have said, you know, people think we're security and we're not. Yeah, we're they not, don't like being built yeah, as security. Not, we're not really security. Mm. Um, more facilities, we have to have the security because, well, yeah. in case issues. Um, so we, do, we are both, but we're more facilities. Okay, well, I think that's it really. Yeah. Fantastic. Tell me about yourself, what's your name, where are you from, maybe, that kind of thing. How long have you been working here? Yeah, so my name is uh, Saeed Rizvi and um, originally I'm from Pakistan. I've uh, been working here for three and a half years uh, in this UL, so I'm kind of a strong part of this team. What do you usually expect to be doing when you're here? What kind of jobs are you guys doing? Well, this role is quite uh, multitasking. There is a variety of uh, roles, so we do control room duties where we uh, communicate with every person like standing at the barrier, security guard, and then we are kind of we work as a kind of brain of the university. So we, we give all the information and um, kind of um, 
time to time we pass on tasks to the guys if we need someone to be somewhere like maintenance team to be somewhere we mm -hmm. deal with that and if there's a first aid query so we take the call and then we pass it on to the first aider then we uh, call the ambulance um, direct them so it's kind of uh, and apart from control room we have loading bay duties as you can see here where we accept all the parcels and uh, uh, label them up and deliver them uh, as per priority like whichever is needs to be delivered first and um, basically we assist um, the whole building like wherever we are required to me it was the first experience to work in an um, uh, arts based university so I see different kind of uh, artistic stuff and the way the students uh, put themselves into it so they, they, they can't even remember the time they don't know what time it is they, they, the university needs to be closed they're still there working on to their projects so it's like living in a gallery we are like working here and we see all this artistic stuff which a student produce and their, their tutor assess them obviously so it's quite pleasant to, to be around and do you have a favorite part of the building Favorite part of the building yeah. is an interesting one. <laughs> yeah, that's a new one that I thought of recently, which I thought would be nice to ask. So because you guys know the building so well, yeah. you see everything. Because I've only been in fine art, you know, down in the main canteen, but not really. I've never been to the drama area, for example, so I wonder if there's... Um, well, the building, we see it as a whole. Um, yeah. Um, university i mean we don't know any favorite part we have because we are uh, it all look amazing everyone has different kind of uh, uh so there's a photo photography section on third floor which mm. i love to be part of because that's something i'm quite interested in photography mm. so that's something is my favorite part and then fashion on second floor BA fashion area is quite uh, decent. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, like it's quite pleasant, um, and everything is nice here. To be honest, it's, um, yeah. that's why I don't feel. Like I've I've never been to other sites, and I prefer it here because it's busy and um, mm -hmm. it's got good IT as well. Yeah, brilliant. Um, I think yeah. that's it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you very <laughs> no much. Problem, yeah.